Hello and welcome back to another video where I'm looking at the ongoing work by drone of the Trans Pennine route upgrade. Today I'm somewhere I'm familiar with but I never knew the name of. Behind me over my shoulder is the bridge that I always referred to as the bridge at the start of the Greenway. Its official name is Wheatley's Colliery Bridge. It's another Grade 2 listed structure which will see a dramatic change. It will be partly demolished. Let's have a look around before this happens. Construction was complete in 1849 as a single span bridge. The line and the bridge were both widened in the 1880s, adding a second span which blends in with the original span. The bridge was thought to be built to allow access to the nearby long since closed Conebridge Colliery, whose owner was called Charles Wheatley. This resulted in the name Wheatley's Colliery Bridge. The bridge remained largely disused until 2000, when both the bridge and the disused Midland Railway branch line were combined into the Calder Valley Greenway. The bridge in its current state does not offer enough clearance for electric trains to safely pass underneath. Similar to the nearby Cone Bridge, a number of options were considered to keep the current bridge. Number one, adjusting the alignment of the rails to fit beneath the two arches. Potentially this would have required removal of existing commercial buildings. Trains would also have to have slowed down for this section. Number two, lowering the track to provide sufficient clearance. Rock beneath the tracks would make engineering of this difficult and expensive. Number three, bridge jacking. This method is untried elsewhere and the condition of the bridge is unknown, so increases the risk of the bridge in the long term. All of these three options were ruled out. Options for a new bridge. Build a new bridge on the same alignment. This would involve expensive and long diversion for utilities and the greenway during the construction. Number two, build a new bridge adjacent to the existing one. The cycle route would remain open for much of the work and would only require a small diversion for the utilities. Once built, the existing bridge would be demolished. Number three, Build a new bridge 70 metres to the south using existing abutments from a previous railway bridge. This would involve significant diversion for cyclists and utilities. Purchase of land would likely also be required. So in relation to the bridge, the bridge is just over there through the trees. Uh, I'm stood on what is the old abutment that is referred to in one of the options. So, got all the brickwork here, just left mostly intact, and then behind me we've got a bit more of it. So, the bridge would have spanned here and gone over to those trees there, uh, and then presumably travelled along this embankment there, and joined up over there. The new span of the bridge would be significantly wider. Option two was the preferred option. feeling I need to have a check of this but uh, all this area I think has been cleared since I came and did the drone filming uh, just under a week ago so down here so this will be the start of the other side of the abutment mm -hmm. 